Hi friends, this is Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions bringing you another Tech Tip Tuesday in Chief Architect Premiere. I'm still using version X12 on my MacBook Pro laptop. This is a continuation a little bit of last week's uh, roof situation, but I'm working on... Last week I had shown 2x12s, uh, but we changed the details to show 2x8 rafters here with a furring down uh, 2x6 for the um, insulation value. Let me show you how I did that. So let's get started. All right, first thing I did was I re reset my uh, roof planes to be 2x8 um, rafters and set the proper plate height. So in section view you can see the 2x8 plate rafters sit directly on these uh, two, two plates on top of the floor, floor joists. Now I only want to fur down uh, the proper uh, insulation value here. So I need 11 and a quarter to get my insulation and a, and a baffle uh, right through this section. And while keeping this 2x8 uh, rafter going here. So I'm going to use a ceiling plane to do that. I've got two situations, uh, two circumstances through here that I need um, that furring down through here and then also in this area in the bathroom where it's 512 pitch and this is 1212 pitch. To start off with, ceiling planes are under the roof tools Plane. But when you double click on the ceiling planes, there is no default uh, dialog box for the ceiling planes. The ceiling planes uses the defaults from the roof plane, and it uses the pitch from the roof plane to build that ceiling plane. So I'm going to build a ceiling plane much like I would a manual roof plane. I'm going to drag a line on the outside of the wall plate where I would um, typically draw the roof and let go there and then click in the up direction in that direction toward the ridge. Now I'm going to take a section to see what's going on here and you'll notice that I don't have any ceiling plane visible. Because my ceiling of this room technically goes out here that ceiling plane is, is really up here, and since it's above the roof, Chief isn't showing that as a ceiling plane. So I need to drop that ceiling plane from here down to here somewhere. I'm going to guess that uh, the ceiling plane, so I'm going to guess that the ceiling plane needs to go right in this area right here. So I'm going to draw a line. W on my keyboard is uh, the line shortcut hotkey. That is not the default um, hotkey, but I'm going to draw it. Let me zoom in. I'm going to draw it from here because I figure the ceiling plane needs to be about here anyway. I'm going to draw it from here up to that ceiling level and looking at the bottom of my screen uh, that says three foot nine. So I need to I'm going to guess that I need to drop that about four feet, that ceiling plane. So let's do that. I'm going to turn off some of these views. I'm going to select that ceiling plane and transform replicate. In the Z delta would be minus 48, so I'm going to go four feet closer to the floor in this because of the minus. And now let's take a sec, go back to that section. There's my ceiling plane right there. Let's draw a line from, let's see where it needs to be. It needs to be 11 and a quarter from here. And since this is a 12-12, it's really easy that this um, perpendicular rafter is 45 degrees. So I'm going to draw a line. And as I'm drawing, I'm going to hit Tab key on my keyboard. And I'm going to make sure Polar is selected. The angle is minus 135. That's correct. And I'm going to go 11 and a quarter in that direction. So that's where I need the ceiling plane to be, and that is in a vertical direction 
Now I'm going to draw a line from the end of that initial construction line down to the ceiling plane, 2 and 11 sixteenths. So I need to raise that 2 and 11 sixteenths. 2 11 sixteenths. And now we're right on that 11 and a quarter. That is where I need to fur down from my 2 by 8 is here. I need to fur down to here to get my 11 and a quarter enough for the insulation and vent baffles uh, through there. Now I've got the 2 by 8 rafter with the 2 by 6 furring right here so I get my proper uh, insulation value. We can close this section. Let's close a couple more of these sections. I don't need all of these. Uh, cancel that. What have I drawn on this? All right. This is through the 512 section. So let's go back to the plan view. And I'm going to hit Q on my keyboard to pull up the roof and double click on that. And I'm going to change that to pitch to 5. Now I'm going to go draw my ceiling plane over the bathroom. Same method. Drag a line on the outside of the wall, click toward the ridge, and once again, I have no ceiling plane because once again, that ceiling is here. Chief is pulling that ceiling height, so we're building a ceiling plane like this. And because it's above the roof, we don't see it. So I'm going to draw a line from here to here. I'm going to say that needs to be at least 12 inches, so let's say minus 16, so we see where the ceiling plane is. Now I had previously drawn a line here and what I did was I, I hit F10 on my keyboard so I no longer have angle snaps. I'm going to delete this line for you and this line. So I'm just going to draw a construction line right along the ed top edge of the rafter or bottom edge of the sheathing right there and that's the proper pitch. I'm going to control command C, command V. So I have a line there in the same pitch. And if I put it down here, the problem is Chief is finding too many, too many lines to temporarily dimension to. So I'm going to just go here up close, and that one inch should be 11 and a quarter. So now I know that this is 11 and a quarter. Perfect from here. Hit F10 so my angle snaps are back on. Draw a line from the end of this construction line down to the ceiling plane that's arbitrarily set here. And that's only three quarters of an inch. So I need to raise this three quarters of an inch. So a positive three quarters. And that's exactly where it needs to be. Now in plan view, I don't need it quite this long. I'll just go here and we'll set the length of this properly. Let's go back to working plan view because here we can see where the ceiling plane changes. So I can just pull this back there, just beyond the ceiling plane, ceiling break. And I'm going to copy this about the center of the room because there's going to be another one on this side. And I'm going to break this um, ceiling plane because it's in the right elevation and at the right pitch. I'm just going to pull this down to here so that we're doing the proper thing to the stairwell. I'm going to fur down the stairwell as well as this room. So I'm going to break this once more. Actually, I'm going to pull that down to the outside edge of the wall. I'm going to do the same thing here. Another break. Pull this down here.
can break here because this is going to get furred down there. So you can see I've furred the 512 properly. I've furred this here a little bit in the hallway is going to be properly furred. And then this will be properly furred for the uh, ceiling system. Let's just double check. I tell you what we'll do first is let's uh, click on the ceiling planes and we're going to uh, use this icon down here to build the framing. I'm not going to display that. Let's go to roof framing, turn on the roof planes. Select these three objects and build the, that roof framing as well. I'm going to do my cross section slider. So here you can see the 2x8 rafter, the 2x6 furring. Let's change my slider back a little bit further. And again, you can see the same, same thing here. 2x8 furring, or 2x8 rafters, the furring just over the room. It stops above the ceiling and stops at the wall, does not extend into the attic down below or up above. Hey, I hope this has been helpful today. Thanks so much for sticking around and watching. I enjoy uh, sharing these tips and tricks with you. If you appreciate this information, this education, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And uh, you can always send me a tip. The link is down below. My, you can PayPal me directly and uh, that would help continue this information coming. Otherwise, have a great week.